friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. Let us watch management of this rock hard cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. You can do either way. You can make the main incision first and later on the main incision. An air bubble has been injected in the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye is injected over the anterior capsule. This is adrenaline. It may help in maintenance of the dilatation of the people. The dye is washed out. Many colleagues suggest to replace the air with the visco that is up to you and now I fill off the anterior chamber with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Some visco is applied over the cornea and now I am trying to make a puncture with the uterator forceps and I find that it is difficult. There is a star fold. So I take a sharp needle, make a cut and pull and I raise a capsular tag and then I use the uterator forceps again. My plan is to get an adequate size truxis and in such hard cataracts with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis we should deliberately do a large rexis. Even a 6 millimeter rexis is okay. So, the we have done a large rexis. Now, hydrodissection is done at multiple points and the nucleus is tapped. And now, I rotate the nucleus. Sometimes I rotate bimanually, but in this case I could rotate the nucleus just by the uh, hydrodissection cannula. And now here goes the FICO needle with its bevel down, some superficial lens matter, cortex and epinucleus is removed and now see what happens. I am trying submarine chop and suddenly this lot of air bubbles. The smaller ones are cavitation bubbles and the large one just entered the AC from outside. And whenever these air bubbles are there, we have to use irrigation aspiration. We have to come to position 2 of the foot pedal, remove the air bubbles as much as possible and then continue. In this case, I did that and then I continued. By this time, I have made two heminucleus and one heminucleus is being divided into two large fragments and I start emulsifying the basis. Again air bubbles form. The reason I can assume in this case is uh, there was a very high ultrasound set. Uh, ultrasound was set at 90 percent and probably it should have been 80 percent. So, I, when I pressed the foot switch, uh, I got more energy than it was required. Anyway, whenever it happens, we have to remove the air bubble, we have to come to position 2 that is irrigation and aspiration and then continue. I have managed on heminucleus by this time, now I come to the other heminucleus, hold it and jaw and I find that the inner edge is not no 
I have not got two free bases. So, I tilt and use energy to make the inner is thin and then I could get two free pieces. And now one free piece is being emulsified. At this time I am trying to detach the epinuclear shell, use it to protect the posterior capsule and emulsify only the nucleus. Yes, I have been able to do that. Now I come to the other and the last fragment. Again, I am trying to hold the uh, a nucleus and detach the epinucleus. I hold the nucleus and I detach the epinucleus. The nucleus is emulsified, keeping the probe at the central safe zone and then finally the epinuclear shells are removed. This is the a last portion of the epinuclear, this is cortex. I come out, inject visco and now this cortex has to be cleaned. So, I take a Simco cannula and remove this cortex. Again, air bubbles are disturbing, but we can see the cortex. this small speck of cortex at 12 o'clock could not be removed. There's some air bubbles and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Um, this giving the AC formed by BSS and injecting the lens. And the lens is placed in the bag by the left hand instrument, in this case the irrigating cannula. And now the irrigating cannula is being used to wash the wash out or replace the air bubbles. And This is Moxie. And now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And this is the final lavage of the interior chamber. trying to remove this small speck of cortex at 12 o'clock. We have to remember a quote of Dr. Uday Devgan that is, uh, be good, don't try to be perfect. So here we conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. So whenever air bubbles form, we have to come back to position 2 use irrigation and aspiration and remove the air bubbles and continue the surgery.